gone. So we had a pretty big snow yesterday, so I thought I'd come out and uh, do a quick photo walk here at uh, Huntley Meadows Park. As you can see, we should get some interesting shots. Hopefully no trees fall on me while we're here because the snow is really heavy and these trees are very spindly. But it's quite beautiful. So today I'm out with my Olympus Pen F and I'm going to be shooting with this uh, new TT Artisans uh, 23mm f1.4. I'm going to do a review on this lens uh, in a few days but I wanted to get some photo walks in uh, taking some real world pictures so to speak. You know I really struggle with woodland photography and I think normally I'd, I'd like to take out a telephoto lens but I do want to challenge myself with this uh, semi-normal lens. I think at 23 millimeters this is an equivalent 46 millimeters for full frame cameras which is you know pretty normal. But actually I found a lot of times the Micro Four Thirds um, sensor, the images look wider than they do when I use the equivalent uh, focal length on a full frame. But anyhow, let's, uh, let's take a shot here. I like the way the trees are lined up. And then over here we have the sun kind of coming in. So let's see what I can frame up in here. I'm going to go ahead and stop this down to f, uh, looks like 16 is the maximum. See if this can give me a starburst effect. Oh yeah, very nice. And I prefer using the magnify function for critical focusing versus, uh, versus using, say, the, the focus peaking. Focus peaking is good for quick focusing on a subject, but if you really want critical focus, you have to magnify. Oh, I need to take my sunglasses off. I can't see anything. Let's try a monochrome filter too. Okay, so I'm at f16 and you can see if you can kind of get the sun to kind of come around a tree or a corner, you can maximize the starburst effect, maybe about right there. I think before I forget, I'm going to text uh, David Crooks and see if he can come down. He's only like 20 minutes from here. Let me take a picture. Um, text it to him. text. There, there's the message I sent. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, no signal. Seriously? All right, there it goes. Oh, look at this way this branch is going around this tree. I'm in a negative two-thirds of a stop, so it's going to be very crispy. Stop down to F2. Check focus one more time. Ah, it opens up the over here even more. I bet if I get a low shot here. Not so low because I want to see the water or the ice. Get that tree and that tree and then the background. And there's some little twigs and everything around here. I think I see kind of a line here. Let's try it. Let's, uh, let's get lower like I was thinking. Yeah. Because I like mostly the, the water here or the ice. I just wish I could get more of that tree. What if I do one with just this tree? Uh, I'm not really wide enough, but let's try it. Okay, 
Okay, this tree here is too close, so I can't frame the whole thing in the in the with this lens. So I'm just going to take three shots and then stitch them back together in post. Do a vertical pano, so to speak. Yeah, but you see what I mean here? Even if I do a vertical, it's still too tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wide shot and take one, two, and then three shots like that and just do a vertical pano. Uh, I guess the, I don't like this one tree here behind it, but I can't, I don't think I can get to a position where it's not going to be too distracting. I'll just shoot wide open and hope for the best. Maybe it'll blur out a little bit. Question is, is this shot worthy of the Hassie? Because I did bring it with me right here in my bag. Ugh. Watch me drop this into the lake or the pond, whatever they call this thing. Ooh, it's beautiful. I wish I was shooting color today. I got Tri-X 400 in here. I need to meter this. I guess I can use I'll just use this camera to meter. Let's see where we're at. If this is f8, f11 would be 1 1,000th, f16 would be 1 500th. Let's try f16 at 1 500th. Set it for 1 500th of a second, f16. Am I cocked or not? I forgot to take the dark slide out. I was like, why isn't it taking a picture? Everything looks good through this viewfinder. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to get a roll of color. I'm tempted, should I go back to the car and get another roll? Or am I good with just three? I'm good with three more shots. I ain't walking all the way back there. All right. Oh, I like the, the broken ice over here. Try what I'll do. Let me angle it. Get a corner right. Kind of abstract. I talked to a guy, he was saying uh, he didn't see any herons or ducks. He just saw, I don't know, he named off 10 different things. I didn't know what they were. <laughs> but there's some hardcore Hunley Meadow photographers out here. <laughs> they know, they know everything. Uh, but everyone, this is uh, David Crooks in case, uh, you know, you see him in the uh, streams all the time uh, coming in, but this is the guy in person, so. He, uh, yeah, he started a photo club that I've been going to for a little over a year now, and it's, as I've said many times, it's the best thing I've ever done is join a club. <laughs> watch, watch me slip and it snap and throw you in the water. <laughs> you got it? Thanks. Thanks. There's some nice geometry in this broken ice here. Yeah, I got that one. You want to try and get out there. There's some geese out there, of course, but you know, they're... Oh, I like this geometry here. I like this tree. I'm going to get this tree. I don't... I think I need to be here, though, because it's... I'm not wide angle enough. It's kind of a normal, right? At 46 mil. Okay. 
there's another trees here, kind of isolated. I'm gonna try and get this one maybe. If I can get more of this foreground in. That's a lot of glare. Okay, I like this shot. I wish I had a polarizer that would take out some of this glare, but I don't have one that fits this lens yet. now is I want to try and get these trees here but I think I'm gonna go further in and because uh, the Sun is just too strong here people are throwing uh, snowballs onto the ice <laughs> that's cool yeah maybe if I can get past the sun. Let me get to the shadows over here, then the sun will be in my eye. And I might be able to get a good shot. Let's see. Yeah, right in here. Ooh. Yeah, I like how this looks. the sun in the top left with a little bit of a starburst maybe a vertical move over something like this we'll do a couple shots here I'm sorry you didn't get to hear David talking much because I didn't bring any extra microphones. But uh, in the meantime, I encourage you to check out his Instagram page. He has lots of pictures from Huntley Meadows and other photo walks of wildlife, birds in flight, uh, things like that. And uh, if you'd like to see the full resolution images uh, of all my short treks, I actually post everything to my Flickr page. And there's a great community there of uh, other viewers that uh, interact and share their images. So I encourage you to join that. And if you'd like to support the channel, uh, your donations are greatly appreciated. Uh, but either way, I appreciate you watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon.